Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome to Vampire Survivors, a game I have been sleeping on because I completely misunderstood it. You see, I saw the trailer for this some time ago, and I assumed from that, oh, it's a bullet tail game. Now, me and them don't really get on, alright? If I ask my brain to dodge out of the way of 10 million bullets while trying to find an opening to counterattack, then basically, it's just gonna panic and then shut down. Doesn't work for me. But then, I realised. I've got this not just wrong, but backwards. This is not a bullet hell game. This is a game where the player is the bullet hell. So, okay, let's just dive in. You'll see what I mean. Because, you see, this game is staggeringly simple. There are vampires and you've got to survive them. How? Using the games of Warner and only control, which is moving. That's it. That's all you do in this game. You move. Weapons are auto-fire based on a timer. All the enemies do is come at you for the most part. They get killed by your weapons. They drop gems. Gems are important. Why? Because gems make your weapons better. Or let you have more weapons. I'm not swapping out one weapon for another or anything. I just get to use both of them at the same time each on their own timer. I guess we just politely assume that our character is growing additional arms as necessary. So on this occasion, while I did promise you that, uh, yes, this was an inverted bullet tail game where you are the bullet tail, so uh, how about we take the... I think this is supposed to be a shotgun. I'm not sure. But the point is, as soon as I take this, I'm going to start producing, there we go, a lot more bullets. So all of a sudden, I am the bullet tail. So okay, using that, I can kill enemies faster, I can gather gems faster, I can level up faster. And that is really, really bloody important. Because the name Vampire Survivors is very appropriate. You're not really trying to win, you're trying to survive. For 30 minutes, to be precise. The enemy are going to get tougher. But they're not scaling versus you. They're scaling versus time. Meaning, if you can kill enemies fast enough, if you can level up fast enough, you can stay ahead of the curve. And that's really good. If you play too defensively, if you're not killing enemies, getting the gems, etc., then you're going to fall behind. You are going to get overwhelmed. Because... Let's just say there's going to be a lot more enemies than this. So it's basically a race against the clock to get your character into an unstoppable, invincible killing machine before the giant swarm of Skellington shows up. Oh, and this guy. He's one of my favourites. The Lightning Ring. Oh, I like the Lightning Ring. So yes, every weapon plays by its own rules. The magic wand, that just auto-targets the nearest enemy. The shotgun, that just fires on a regular basis in diagonals. It doesn't target anything. That one is all about positioning for your character. Lightning ring just hits a random enemy. So, let's just get back over towards some enemies over here. And in just a moment, there we go. Lightning just comes in, which is beautiful. So, yeah, now I've got one homing weapon, one random weapon, and one situational weapon that just does its own thing based on where I'm standing. Absolutely lovely. So, yes, right now we're in the very early stage of the game. What I want to do is basically level up as fast as possible and okay. There is a bat over there that's highlighted in blue. That means that he's elite. He is much tougher. But if we could take him out, he drops a red gem. Worth so much more than everybody else, okay? Blue gem's worth a bit. Green are better. Red are spectacular. And it's not just new weapons. You can make them better. You may see up in the top left there. Weapons could go up to level 8. So, Magic Wand, how about it fires an additional projectile and... Okay, I think that red gem was so valuable, I got multiple level ups out of it. Brilliant, and uh, speaking of multiple projectiles, uh, oh yeah, more projectiles coming out of my shotgun. So the enemies, uh, there's a lot more of them, but that's fine. I'm firing a lot more bullets than I used to, meaning more gems are being produced, which is good because leveling up is getting exponentially more expensive over time. So, uh, okay, now, now we're getting somewhere, but this, this is nothing. Okay, at some point pretty soon, the game's going to toss me, you know, a little first test to make sure I'm ready for what's coming up next. And, uh, okay, lightning. This one, uh, this one gets goods. 
The enemies, by the way, like 99% of them, their tactic is I'm going to walk up to you. That's, that's it for the most part. This game is not so much about, you know, incredibly cunning AI hiding behind cover or something. By the way, there's going to be, uh, yes, giant swarms of bats. If I had an area clearing spell, that would be very good for, uh, yes, dealing with all of them. There's a lot more bats now, by the way, you may have noticed. But more bats means more gems. Uh, that's good, okay? That's when this game clicked for me. When I realized uh, you have to play aggressively. You can't just be looking for the way out. If you're surrounded by a swarm, you should be as far as possible, right in the middle of it, dealing with as many enemies as you can, as fast as possible, to maximize your gemming karma. Oh, garlic. Oh, garlic is interesting. I like garlic. It's really useful in the early game. But I feel like... It's not worth a weapon slot, because you can only have uh, so many weapons. I think you can have uh, six. Rune Tracer, I think, is a lot more useful in the long run. So yes, this is a weapon that's going to fire, I think, randomly, and then bounce around a bit. So uh, let's get that moving in the right direction, too. In just a moment, that will set off. There we go. Two of them immediately. Beautiful. So now we just get over to here. I need a weapon that's good at dealing with uh, crowds. Right now, I don't really have that. Just dive in. The game's pretty generous. Like, the, you know, the enemy can't really lunge or grab you or anything. So as a result of that, ooh. Projectile speed, you say? No, keep the magic wand moving in the right direction. You kind of want to max your weapons out as soon as possible because, uh, yeah, they get kind of exponentially better, which is lovely. And okay, there's a lot of gems uh, floating around. Now, uh, don't worry that we're not getting every single gem. Power-ups will start dropping at various points. You can often see them on the map. You can pause and get a grip as to what's going on in the world. So, yeah, chicken, that is a health top-up. That stopwatch is freeze all enemies, but you don't actually freeze time. Even though it like looks like it should be freeze time, it doesn't freeze time. It just freezes enemies. Slightly unhelpful in some ways. But yes, what I'm looking for at some point is a vacuum. Vacuums are great because vacuums are, oh, they mean you suck up every single gem that you haven't got yet, which is beautiful. And uh, crown, helping me level up faster. No, bypass. That's what I want. Like at this point now, we can start shooting enemies and the projectiles just keep going. That's going to make me much better at dealing with crowds. And okay, here come the skeletons. Not many yet though, just introducing the concept. Okay, there is a big blue enemy. We want to take him out though. Very important. He dies because he will hopefully drop, yes, a red gem. Maybe a chest. Basically a free upgrade, which would be lovely. They will get, you know, progressively a lot tougher over time. Come on, buddy. There we go. Red gem. Beautiful. And... Uh, Oh, yeah. My favorite item in the game. The duplicator. I love the duplicator. Duplicator is amazing. Every weapon that fires a projectile just fires more of them. So, yes, my weapons as I upgrade them, they're going to start firing more projectiles. And the duplicator is going to make them fire more too. And on top of that, that little Evo note means this syncs with the weapon I've already picked up. The lightning ring. If you max out a weapon and you've got a support item which has got synergy with that weapon, oh, life starts getting very sexy indeed. Let's just say that and take the duplicator for now because that's going to make all my weapons fire more stuff. It's just, I think it's the best item in the game. I love it. So, all of a sudden, we are now firing a lot more stuff in every direction, constantly. Hunt down the skeletons. All my stuff is just bypassing bits and pieces. Lightning ring. Base area up 100%, base damage up. So, okay, the splash on the lightning is now going to be much, much bigger, which is really useful because the problem eventually is going to be a giant crowd of monsters that is going to surround me on all sides. So, anything that helps with crowd control and crowd clearance, that's what you want. And uh, Magic Wand, uh, more projectiles. Uh, just give me more projectiles uh, every bloody time. We are getting somewhere now. We are flipping getting somewhere. This is starting to work. Okay, my character is doing well. That's just the kill everything button. Probably should have saved that, to be honest. Bit early to use it, but whatever. Oh, the King Bible. 
I love the key Bible. Basically, it will just start rotating around my character in just a second. Anytime you're ready, buddy. There it is. And yes, any enemy that tries to get up to me will get bonked by the Bible, which is just beautiful. Because it's got a bit of knockback on it, so it just buys you space. If you're getting crowded, it's a really good last line of defense. It's beautiful. Level up and... Uh, okay, it's starting to get difficult to choose at this point, but... Lightning ring, more projectiles, uh, let's go. So now, all of a sudden, there is a lot of lightning falling because the cooldown is going down. The splash on the lightning is huge. So, oh yeah, enemies are going down in a hurry. Blue gems are starting to count for less, but I've got plenty of gems floating around. Magic wand getting stronger. Good, 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 good. Because sooner or later, tougher stuff is going to show up. If the magic wand can kill every enemy in just like one hit, then better and better. I really could do with a... There's a hoover. There is a hoover nearby. Okay, this is this is good. There it is. It's the round thing. Oh, that is a boss. Praying Mantis is a boss at this point in the game. He'll be showing up like constantly later. But for the time being, he dies in no time whatsoever. Oh, empty tome. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. That syncs up with my magic wand. Okay, we'll be having that. Also, just need to grab this. There we go. Every single gem I didn't pick up on the field now just comes over to me. Brilliant. And lightning ring. Even bigger base area. Even more damage. The lightning ring is hilarious. And more lightning. Okay, life is getting so sexy right now. Yeah, everything. Fires more projectiles. Why not? And okay, hang on. Ate the sparrow. Fires quickly in. Okay, so that's just more shotgun. No, I feel like we're okay on the shotgun for the time being. Give me duplicate two and give me this chest, which if we are... Oh, that's lucky. Sometimes there's one item, sometimes it's three. If you're really lucky, it's five. So that's a big pile of money. We'll get to what money does in a second. But, oh, plenty of upgrades. So better shotgun, better wand, better rune thingy. So, okay. Everything is just sexy as anything. More projectiles are, are being fired at the moment by the possibly shotgun and more projectiles. Okay, it's just projectiles. It's just a giant pile of projectiles. Oh, this is great. The flowers, by the way, are really tough. You wouldn't think flowers would be that tough, but flowers are, like, seriously tanky. So, uh, getting out of this ring can be a bit tricky. If you just wait long enough, they will disappear. But, uh, yes, oh, this is... This is going very well. Now, this next section is a bit slow on the old leveling up to my mind. Because, yes, it's not random. It's always the same every time you play. So, if you've played a level before, you know what's coming up. So, you can plan accordingly. This section I find a bit tricky. Because, yeah, the green guys are a bit on the tanky side. There's not that many of them. Maybe I'm missing something about these guys. I don't know. Oh. Spellbinder syncs up with the Bible I picked up. I'm not going to say no to that in case it doesn't get drawn again. So, okay. At some point, we're going to start evolving our weapons. And then, okay, if you thought this was ludicrous, oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. And, oh, that's the uh, flame breath thing, I believe. So, yes, now I'm just breathing fire at all my enemies. Shouldn't really have picked that up at this point. That was a waste. But this can be very useful if, like, you know, there's 10 million enemies floating around. Then again, you know what? These enemies, the uh, green guys, can be a bit tanky. So just taking all them out, they're green gems. Uh, that's not the worst thing in the world, really. Then we just take out all of you guys. Okay, you know what? They're going down at a good rate right now. This is okay for the time being. What I'm really waiting for, however, is, uh, yes, the game's at first exam. Somewhere around 10 minutes in, the game's going to start getting, uh, yes, very aggressive with me just to check whether i'm actually ready for a big crowd though first up is ah the bat crowd so uh, this is good this is very good i'm now good at dealing with uh, small crowds so the games are going to start tossing a lot of bats at me but that there that is all absolutely fine because now oh yeah with bypass i can clear out the bat swarms uh, no trouble whatsoever so just stay out of the way and we are golden also, there is definitely a, yep, I see you, boss bat. Let's just take you out if we can. Bat him with Bibles. There is a free chest, which is beautiful. It's another lucky chest. Life. Life is good. Okay, what have you got for me on this occasion, game? Because I appreciate a lucky chest. So, uh, okay. 
the wand going up, the rune thing going up, the spellbinder going up too, so effects of weapons are lasting a little bit on the longer side, which is beautiful. Just look at these gems now. Okay. Crowd. This is why you want to be in the middle of the crowd. And uh, magic wands up to level 8. Much, much stronger, but... Okay, get something to level 8 as soon as you can. That's the sensible thing to do, because at some point, a boss is going to show up. Get a weapon to level 8, have a support item that's got synergy, defeat a boss, and all of a sudden, life can get good. For the time being, though, yeah, King Bible, let's get that moving in the right direction. Oh, combined with the Duplicator, there are now so many Bibles around me already, which is just beautiful. Okay, Life is fine. The next big event is going to be another ring with another boss in it. And seriously, is there any chance of a hoover? I wouldn't mind... Okay. I don't know whether there's a hoover. I don't think you can zoom in on the map. But I do see clover. There is a small clover somewhere. I should get that. That increases my luck, which would be beautiful. Oh, the clock. So, yes, you can just freeze enemies in place. That's actually pretty good, you know. That is pretty good. Screw it, we're having that. So now, yes, on occasion, enemies will just be frozen. There was a red. There's some luck. There's a pile of money. Life is good. So, there we go. You see right there, some enemies just ended up being uh, blue and frozen in time. It just helps buy you a split second if you need it. Like, arguably, maybe you'd be better off just having more weapons that do straight up damage rather than freezing. But it's not a bad idea and we have got bat swarms coming in. Watch out for bat swarms at this point and uh, I would really, really enjoy a hoover. Because I am missing a lot of gems right now. But we'll hoover them up sooner or later. It's fine. You don't need to worry too much about, yes, every single gem. Because sooner or later, a hoover will appear. Okay, nastier bats are also making their appearance now. But the shotgun and everything else is dealing with them. Still, they drop the better, more valuable gems, which is good. Then there is... Oh, the bat swarms are just collapsing at the moment. I love it. So, okay. Ooh. It doesn't sync with anything I've got, but the bracer does increase projectile speed. Then again, actually, candelabra. Area of attack. That affects my lightning ring. Oh, yeah, we're taking that, actually. That That's pretty good. So, okay, we're now surrounded by more dangerous bats. Can we deal with the more dangerous bats? I think we can, especially with the Bibles out on the field. The Bibles are not present all the time. But this is it, all right? I do not want to run away. I need to stand here. I need to take this. There is a blue enemy right there. If we're very lucky, this could be it. If I get really lucky right now, this could be a hybrid weapon. Because my wand is maxed out, I believe, and... Uh, no, it was just an improvement to the shotgun. I guess that's not the worst thing in the world. So, okay, keep moving, keep killing, grab all the bits and pieces. Gems, gems, gems. Prioritize going towards, yes, the green gems if you can. Frozen in time enemies can't damage you, which is lovely. Level 7 lightning ring. Yep, a hundred percent bonus area. So all of a sudden, lightning's just going to be striking basically the entire field uh, thanks to the duplicator, which is just wonderful, actually. Okay, here he comes. Here comes the boss. I just took a bit of a nibble there, by the way. So okay, there is now a new boss in play and an even bigger praying mantis. So just let the damage attack him. We're getting him with everything. There is also some beautiful, beautiful turkey to get my health back. He can't. There we go. He goes down. There's the red. And here's the chest. Now he was a boss. So come on. Come on, game. Be nice to me. And there it is. Holy wand. So my wand is basically going to keep doing what it was already doing. But now it's going to never stop firing. It's just an automatic homing machine gun. 
So, just a magic going off in every direction. When I say automatic, uh, yes, homing machine gun. I mean automatic homing armor-piercing machine gun. Because it goes straight through one enemy on to the next. So, okay, room tracer, more projectiles. We haven't really been talking about that. But those triangles that are just bouncing everywhere, that's the uh, room thing. That's just, you know, doing its own job too. Oh, so, so, so many gems and okay. Here we go. We're coming upon a minute 11. Minute 11 is when the game gives you its first little exam. Because the skeleton horde is on the way. Which makes it absolutely perfect timing that yes, my shotgun has now got better bypass on it. The plans disappear. The skeletons are in play. But that's fine. Because all of my attacks are just bypassing the crowd. Which is beautiful. And this. This is not bad. This is good. When I first saw this, I panicked. But no. No, no, no. This is not a problem. This is cocking a harvest time. The lightning strikes alone are tearing these guys apart. These skeletons are only going to spawn for like... 60 seconds, maybe 120, then they're going to disappear. And that is really sad because they're generating a lot of gems very fast. And uh, oh yeah, more projectiles, if you'd be so kind. Lightning is now just falling like nobody's business. It's beautiful. Yep, base area up 10%. The lightning is basically striking the entire field at this point constantly it's just a thing of beauty by the way king bible get that moving in the right direction good defense just in case and uh, okay yeah more base area and yeah more king bible it lasts longer it does more damage uh, that's good uh, shotgun uh, right there base speed up 50 percent base damage up by five uh, that's nice too uh, cool down uh, level two yeah so now weapons are going to be constantly firing seriously i'm I'm leveling up a lot right now. It's good. Uh, level 5. Uh, more King Bible projectiles. Uh, and also, yep, cool down uh, off. And also, uh, let's have uh, more stuff passing through more enemies. At some point, I'm going to stop leveling up, I assume. Candelabra, level 4. And now, oh yeah. Now, now we're firing a lot faster and a lot more. And oh, ho, 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 ho. By the way, we're not done leveling up yet. You level up a lot in this game. It's marvelous. And oh, spinach. Okay, it doesn't sync with uh, anything I've got, but, I mean, just bonus 10% damage, uh, that's inherently very good. Please tell me there's a vacuum somewhere. Oh, there is. There's a vacuum right there. Okay, don't go for it yet. Just finish off all the skeletons, because at any moment they're going to stop spawning, and that's going to be really sad, but I think they're done. All right, let's get all the skeleton gems. Do I want luck, or do I want picking up items uh, from further away. This one I'm not convinced by because, uh, yeah, if I just go for luck, then one, I'll get better treasure chests anyway. And two, yeah, you just get the hoover, like, all the time. So I'll take some clover. That is another level up. Let's just get empty tome up to level four. Then just more damage on rune tracer. No, more damage. Let's get more damage. Then again, no, king bible, level six. Oh, bloody hell. Max out the candelabra because support items only go to level five, which is beautiful. Then we've got ourselves a rune tracer, level five. Why are we doing this? I don't know what's happening anymore. Empty tome level five. So at this point, the cool downs are ridiculously short. Rune Tracer, level 6. Screw it. Rune Tracer, no. King Bible, level 7. And then Rune Tracer, also level 7. And also Clover, level 2. And also Rune Tracer, level 8. And bloody hell! That's a lot of Bibles. That's a... That's a slightly dumb amount of Bibles uh, right there. So yeah, now the werewolves show up. They're a lot tougher. But honestly, I feel like at the moment, I've kind of got their number. Being as I am at level 50. So okay, there's a bat that's going to try and drop a red gem. I'll just be having that, thank you. Red gems, not a bloody hell. Okay, so this is what I meant when I said uh, I am the bullet hell. Okay, because uh, for the time being, the enemies can't even get up to me. I'm just annihilating them. All right, it's absolutely beautiful. So, you know what? This might be a good time to go for a stroll. Because, uh, yes, even though I've now got a full loadout, if I go pick up more items, uh, then I'm allowed to just add them as extras. So, up top there, yes, that there, the skull, that's the makes the game a harder button, which... It's kind of advantageous, in a way, when you think about it, because that just means you're getting more gems faster. Screw it, we're going to go in that direction and activate that. It is, by the way, a long way away. This map is 
weirdly huge. So, okay, just head in this direction. I feel like we are in control for the time being, given I'm just basically blasting werewolves out of my way. This is, I love the duplicator. The duplicator is the best item. Oh, you want to try and swarm me with ghosts, do you? Okay, good luck with that, because once the Bibles get going, oh, buddy. No, 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 no. You are not going to have a good time attempting to get up to me at this point. There is a moment, by the way, where the game just basically stops being anything that makes any sense whatsoever. And it just basically becomes a test of, have you got a build that works? Yes or no? If no, you die. Try again. If yes, then basically fireworks display and happy brain chemicals. Speaking of which, King Bible, level 8 another projectile and uh, if i can just find a boss like say a particularly large werewolf say i might be able to upgrade this so oh life is life is good ghosts are attempting to uh yes push the werewolves into me i'm just going to hit the everything dies button sometimes it's just an everything dies button any chance of uh, yes a hoover at some point there's gonna be a hoover now i've got the clover i should be swimming in items uh, because yeah items just drop more regularly if you get high luck and my character has now got high luck thanks to the clover business so keep on keeping on also food and healing items they should be dropping all the time too so yes the bibles are basically just annihilating everything at the moment and uh, yep more base damage why the cop not to be honest and uh, yeah even after all this i'm only about a third of the way to the skull the map is really big okay i see one enemy that is highlighted in yep there we go that was an enemy that was highlighted in blue so if we're lucky oh there it is evolved king bible so now uh, my bible never ends it's just going to start going in a second uh, and now it's never going to stop. Which probably means if I wanted to, I could probably put the controller down and go and make a cup of tea. If I wanted to. Because the game is inherently playing itself. Like, my ludicrous magic wand is at this point just, uh, yes, auto-targeting. And uh, the room things are just bouncing around uh, by themselves. Um, the lightning is coming down by itself too. And nothing can actually get past my Bible circle. So, okay, this is... This game's lovely. Oh, I think I'm in a ring of things, by the way. Meaning, oh, there it is. There's a boss there. There's there's a boss underneath the, uh, yes, ring right there. And he's already dead, so okay. If we're now really lucky, we might just get ourselves a, a third upgrade. Oh, come on, game. Be nice to me. Because I'm pretty sure the lightning ring is ready to upgrade too. And at that point, this just becomes uh, slightly ludicrous. And, oh, there it is. Okay, so... The freezing time thing, that's fine. But screw it. Thunder loop. Now, lightning strikes twice. So at this point, yes, the lightning now comes down. And after it comes down, it just sort of keeps happening. So, oh, this is... Life is good. Screw it. Where's the make the game a harder button? Want to press the make the game a harder button? Here we go. I found it. So, yes, all of a sudden, I've now got an extra weapon. The Skullomaniac. So, enemy's now going to get faster and stronger and more and i flipping welcome them to cocking try meanwhile yep that's just spinach because obviously i'm nowhere near strong enough yet so okay really would like a vacuum at this point while i just make my way over to the yes other item i can pick up the one that gives me Oh yeah, screw it. Upgrade that. Keep it moving in the right direction. Get luckier too. Skullomaniac, let's flip and go. Let's get the clock thing. Yep, screw it. Skullomaniac level four. This is hubris. This is pure hubris right here. I'm going to regret this. I'm going to die. I've never taken the skull up to like max level before. But screw it. Let's give it a go. Yep, there it is. Maxed out Skullomaniac. So, uh, the enemy are now going to be 50% better at everything, which is just beautiful. But screw it, I can freeze them in time way more effectively these days. Uh, my character's pretty much close to maxed out now. Okay, here's the situation. We're 22 minutes in, the game is ramping up the amount of enemies, uh, but it's very much under control. So what I'm going to do now, given I've run out of upgrades, is uh, yes, the game's offering me health, 
or money. I'm going to tell it to automatically always give me health every time I level up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand right here in the middle of all these enemies. And I'm going to put the controller down because I need to survive another seven minutes. And I'm pretty sure I can with zero input whatsoever. Because, yes, right now, enemies that are, you know, vaguely diagonal to me, well, they're just absolutely screwed. Any enemy that gets up to these swirling bibles of death is mostly taken out by them. Anyone who gets near to me automatically becomes the nearest enemy, and thus is targeted by my magic wand, which starts firing, and the rate of enemy progress is being routinely slowed by, yes, my maxed out clock thingy. So, as a result of that, yes, this is, as odd as it's going to sound, kind of the perfect scenario for this game. If you've got this game right, then it just becomes a completely incomprehensible fireworks show that starts playing itself. It becomes a, an idle game, which is just not normally my cup of tea, but for some reason, oh, just, there's numbers. All right, flashy lights and numbers, and my brain is happy with me right now, all right? It's wonderful. Oh, I'm pretty sure we've got a boss coming in up in the uh, top left over there. Unfortunately for him, he appears to be, uh, yes, approaching me on the exact angle. My shotgun, no, never mind, he's dead. That's, uh, that's him that just dropped the box over on the left there. Plants are now moving in en masse, like bigger, tougher plants. I suspect there's nothing they can do to me. So, okay, this means there's now only two challenges remaining. Number one, as we approach, you know, 30 minutes, the end, the game is going to start tossing everything in the kitchen sink at me. All right, swarms of enemies from every side and ultimately nothing but elite super boss enemies. The ones highlighted in blue, I think they're arriving right now. Can I survive against all of them for two minutes without touching the controller? And uh, honestly, at this point, yes, I'm going to pick up the controller again. I think it might be a bit too late because, uh, actually, you know what this is? This is working. They're being frozen by the clock. Lightning is doing a huge amount of damage. And then the swirling Bibles uh, is finishing them off. So uh, it's just nothing but elite super mega enemies. Uh, and they can't get to me. Oh, this is, this is beautiful. Now, 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 now. There is one other problem as well, which is... Uh, when we say you survive at 30 minutes, you don't. At 30 minutes, all these guys disappear, and what happens is the Grim Reaper shows up and just kills you. However, I have noticed, yes, that you can actually do damage to the Grim Reaper, and more importantly, you can freeze him in time using... Oh, some of them almost made it past the bloody barricade there. You can freeze him with the clock upgrade. I'm wondering whether it's possible to kill death and thus actually survive. You know, the game being called uh, Vampire Survivors and all. So, okay, I guess in about 40 seconds, uh, we're going to see if we can. Because, yes, I'm doing a huge amount of damage with my magic wand in particular. Oh, they're getting through. 30 seconds to go, but some of them are successfully pushing their way past the barricade. Though the clock is being ludicrously useful, it must be said. Though then again, I've got the spellbook upgrade that means, yes, actually effects like time freeze last longer than they should do. So, okay. Here we go. Controller in hand. In a few seconds, these guys all disappear. And then it's death time. And where is... No, no, no! Well, he got me. Now, that also got me a big old pile of money because, uh, yes, your character, if you start playing this today, might not be as strong as what you've just seen. The gold you collect, you use that to make your character stronger. So, over time, the scales shift slowly in your favour. So, I just picked up a lovely, lovely five grand. How about we drop that on? Yes, indeed. Every single character in every future playthrough getting a bit more experience and thus leveling up faster. Brilliant. There are many, many characters, by the way. That was Imelda, who starts with the magic wand. But, um, yes, there are 
a lot of characters. Like, so many characters. Basically, one character starting with every weapon you can get. And some starting with weapons that, uh, yes, I've not actually found out in the world. They might be unique to that character. So, there's just a skeleton here, and he starts off with a bone, which is lovely. Together, of course, with, yes, a unique benefit. So, the Skellington, he gets himself bonus projectiles once every 20 levels, up to plus 3 at 60, which is really powerful. In fact, you know what? I like the Skellington so much, we're taking him to Pastures Nastier. Because you just saw the first level, okay? Things are going to get, um, much, much worse. Let's skip to the toughest level I've found so far. Yes, the dairy plant, the birthplace of milk magic, where, uh, yes indeed, I'm guessing uh, some stuff may have gone a bit on the wrong side. So, let's get some stuff going on. That's a lot of enemies, by the way. But actually, lots of enemies uh, means uh, a lot of gems. Uh, that is not a bad thing at all. So, okay, yes, things start off a bit more extreme in the later levels. Let's just grab myself some stuff here. And, uh, magic wand. That did just do uh, really well last time. Uh, Santa Water is nice. It starts off flimsy, but it gets really powerful over time, okay? And, oh, the bone, if you can just get in the middle of a group of enemies, uh, is really good. The arrow, by the way, is pointing me towards, uh, yes, some form of uh, relic that I've not got yet. Together with, uh, I see there, well, what looks like Hoover, Hoover, and Mega Hoover. I don't know what Mega Hoover is. But yes, for the time being, the water is basically just a lovely, lovely splashing. It's like a grenade. It's a holy water grenade, basically. So if you can lead the enemies into that, spectacular. And then just, yeah, lead them into that. That's going to be... Okay, that's a good amount of bits and pieces. I'm taking a bit of damage here. And uh, the shotgun did work pretty well. Then again, was it the most powerful tool I had? I don't think it was. I'm going to take a magic wand. The Magic Wand upgraded is really nice. It's not spectacular in the early game, but it upgrades really nicely. So yeah, just get over here, start taking you guys out. We just need to beat them in terms of, oh yeah, and there's the Tome, which obviously we're taking, so every weapon fires a bit faster. So okay, this is fine. And, oh, bloody hell, okay, I don't know what's going on. I've not played this level before. I'm guessing you guys are okay. You just show up in your turrets. Gotcha. And there are many, many hoovers dotted about. Gotcha. Okay, so the bone is a little bit unpredictable in a way. And watch out for turrets just popping up. Well, oh, there's also there's, there's ghosts. Okay, this is this is fine. What do I want? More water. Yes, actually, you know what? No, more projectiles. Just more straight up damage. The wand is reliable because it just auto targets the nearest enemy. So it's a good, reliable early game weapon right there. Just keep on keeping on and get enough stuff. If we can just get a bone bouncing in the middle of them, that would be great. Oh, that's that's good. That was a good uh, water right there. We've got ourselves some good stuff floating along. There's a lot of bones. I think those guys have got like zero health though. The little screamy lads. They've got like no health at all. So, okay, this is all fine. Get over to there. That should be just enough, right? Yes, it is. Bone getting better. I'll leave the bone for then again. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll go for the water. There's water doing excellent work right there. This is definitely nastier in its opening seconds. Don't even worry about relics or anything. The water is completely random, which is the downside of the water. So just lead everyone into the water. We need the water to get, like, much better and upgraded very quickly, by the way. Okay, but we've let them down here, meaning I can access all of this and, uh, yeah, upgrade the bone. Let's get a better and better bone. There's definitely a lot of stuff. Screw it, I'm burning the first hoover because that will hopefully get me... That'll get me, like, a level up or two. So, uh, tome. Then again, Bible. The Bible did really well last time. Do it. Take the Bible. I'm a bit trapped in the corner. You do not want to be trapped in the corner. Yes, scenery is your worst enemy. It's not all flat all the time. So, okay, for the time being, these guys are under control. Pentagram erases everything. Sounds really good, but the cooldown is several weeks... And it also eliminates gems. So it can be really good, but it can also really screw you over if it kills gems that you needed. So 
I'll take cooldown instead for the time being. Just That's just everything. Cooldown being low is reliable. That just means uh, the water is constantly coming down, and that's good. The Bible is good, reliable damage. I'm getting a little bit boxed in right now, but green gems really early on. Okay, this is fine. I'm very boxed, actually. Okay, this is... I'm surrounded by something, and I don't know what. Also, there's a chest I completely neglected. Okay, I'm now trapped in a Doom Arena. This is fine. Use the Bible to my advantage. There is a Minotaur. There is a nasty Minotaur. I am very... Uh-oh, this, this could be a problem. Okay, get over to here. Escape, and take the... Yeah, the bone. Tons of bone damage. Get out of here. Just, just go through. You can just cut through that circle, and that's going to be useful. That should be enough to get me out of here. Yeah, often just ignoring the circle and just saying, screw it, I'm going where I want works better. Uh, I really need to get the... Yeah, the Bible is going to do a good job cleaning out these guys. Uh, bone level four. Do I want the clover? That's items. Take more bone. All right, have faith in the bone. Bone will save us. It's going to be... The bone will probably save us. I don't have the Bible at the moment. Okay, but it's, it's all under control. These enemies are not that tough yet. They're going to get tougher as soon as the Bible shows up. Use it. Use the Bible. It's one of my most important tools for the time being. There was a ton of bit of damage. Okay, there are like multiple chests dotted about. I need to get them. That's upgrades. I need upgrades. Also, I need the green. Where is chest number one? It should be nearby because the arrow is moving. There we go. There's also... That's turrets. Okay. What have you got for me, buddy? More Bible. Good. Everyone loves Bible. And also a level upgrade. Duplicator. Flipping darn it. Then again. Spellbinder is duration of weapon effects. I assume that applies to how long the Bible is out. Right, but then again, the duplicator might not show up again. No, I'm taking the duplicator. I can't not take the duplicator. Okay, the duplicator is too good to not take. Okay, get over here. Find the next thing. I know the water doesn't seem that useful yet, but seriously, it gets amazing if you just get it right. So, okay, I'm pretty sure I killed the Minotaur. That was what that was. Magic wand upgrade. Everything's fine. Cooldown is reduced. There's probably enough for a couple of upgrades there. Santa Water. So, base damage up. Effect lasts longer. Or, more Bibles. Racer is nice too. Just for projectile speed in general. Uh -huh -huh -huh. Take the Bible. The Bible is seriously doing me good work right now. The Bible is uh, beautiful. Okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, that's, that's keeping me in the game. That's keeping me in the game right now. And we're only four minutes in. This is this is baby's first enemies, okay? This is this is nothing. Get the Bibles out. Head over here. There's a lot of green. This was where the stuff happened. Uh, attract Orb. Okay. Attract Orb I'm not normally keen on, but it does sync with, uh, yes, the water. Let's me evolve the water. And on top of that, yeah, when there's so many enemies dotted around, just being able to pick up stuff from uh, further away is not a bad thing at all. Let's just take out all of you. There's the green. Grab uh, you guys. We're almost ready for a level up too. Duplicator plus bones is nice. I mean, the bones are just bouncing around. Obviously, you know, as the area gets more crowded, more bones uh, is good. So, uh, Candelabra. That works well with water in a way. So, uh, no, take bones. Just more bones. Bones everywhere. Bouncing all over the shop. When I get crowded, I'm going to be really happy. I have got bones. Okay, watch out for the projectiles. Take you out. Move in right direction. Here's some good stuff. There's some turkey, but that's fine because... Oh, that's a boss. Good. Good, good, good. Just... He's on his own. I don't know why this boss is on his own, but he's on his own, which is good. So we can just basically pummel him. Give it up, boss. All right. Give it up, buddy. All right. You know you want to just... Just stand down, please. Stand the cock down. There we go. There's that. Feeling a bit surrounded at the moment. And uh, more Bible. That is worth it. So, okay. Base damage up. Effect lasts longer. Yes, yeah, screw you. That is going to destroy all of you. And uh, duplicator. Just max it. I'm pretty sure that's max duplicator right there. Let's just take all of that. Bones are now flying everywhere. This guy is hilarious. Just get him up towards level... What is it? 30? 60? Max out his effect where there's bonus bones. And there are suddenly so, so many bones. It's great. So, okay. Take you out. Okay, the turrets now appear to just be around. So, now I just need to watch out for them, which is all A-OK. -okay. I'm going to be honest. The water is underperforming versus what I was hoping for. 
So this is uh, this is all absolutely fine. There's plenty of gems here. Tome. Cool down. Get rid of the cooldown. I just want to be tossing bones uh, constantly. And also tossing Bibles. Like the Bible is doing amazingly. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. That's the stuff right there. And oh bloody hell, where am I? Okay, I'm kind of surrounded right now. It's all fine. It's all good to be a-okay. Just get over to here. There was definitely a warning there for a second, but it's all worked out fine. Bone, 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 bone. You're all dead. Okay, life is life is under control. Just. I'm feeling better now than I was at the start. And, uh, yeah, more Bibles. Okay, more Bibles. Oh, I was standing right inside someone there. That was a mistake. I'm pretty sure there's some turkey nearby, right? No, I think I ate it. But there is a freeze time McJibble. And also, oh, blimey. Okay, that's fine. Bible annihilates swarms. Swarms of uh, small enemies. Uh, Bible can deal with that. Just watch out. We're not one-shot killing these guys. Lightning ring. Yes. Duplicator and lightning ring love each other. Okay, now I'm surrounded. There is a freeze time button nearby. I need to get my luck up. If I could find Clover, that'd be great. And uh, yeah, lightning ring. Give me more lightning ring. I'm surrounded right now. But actually, being surrounded when I am the bone king is not the worst thing in the world. I am uh, very much... Oh, you're a boss, aren't you? Oh yeah, you're a proper boss, actually. Okay. Take him out. He's going to be battered, battered, battered. The knockback on the Bible is really what makes it. There we go. He's dead. Nice and easy. Though I've not got anything ready to upgrade yet. So just lightning ring. Which is fine. That's now wider and it is working. Okay. Everything's not making a huge amount of sense. But it's all fine. Spellbinder came back. Take it. Okay. This is this is all fine. Everything's under control. It's, it's all probably making sense. I'm just vaguely moving my character towards gems at the moment. And that's that's working. Alright, that, that plan is working right there. Just gems, gems, gems. Uh, more flipping gems. Uh, haven't actually seen, like, you know, the water being upgraded for a while. But screw it, more bones. Let's get bones up to level 8. Just have something at level 8. Because if something's at level 8, the next time a boss comes up, we might be able to upgrade it. I don't know what bone becomes, and I probably don't have the right synergy weapon. But screw it, we'll give it a go. There is some turkey. Okay, and also... Oh, okay. That's what we needed. So, okay, give me... Yeah, give me lightning ring. That's good. And keep giving me gems, please. Give me bone at level 7. Bone is getting stronger. And not enough. Okay, that should... Don't... Oh, bloody hell. Okay, so what happened there was... I'm pretty sure, yes, because of my attractor thing, I actually sucked up that uh, hoover when I didn't want to. So that's a bit of a shame, but we are where we are. I wouldn't mind spinach. Just generally being more powerful would be good. Oh, yeah, you want to send skeleton swarms at me? Bloody try it, mate. Bloody try it. All right, I dare you to give it a go. All right, that's the one thing I can deal with. Garlic, I don't feel the enemies are weak enough to justify garlic. Yeah, water. So, more damage and the water lasts longer. Though it's still being cast at the same rate, I think. So, it's just more water out at a time. Probably, anyway. I'm not 100% sure. This is getting a, a little bit dicey. But this is... Oh, ha, 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 ha. There's, there's a large amount of, uh, yes, cows. Okay, I can't one-shot them. I need to be careful of them. And the clock is really good. Take the Santa water for now. Okay, then just knock down you guys. Watch out for charging herds of cows. Uh, might be a bit difficult to get out of the way. What with, yeah, what with walls and whatnot. And then being knocked about by other enemies. So, oh, there's a, there's a thing there. Okay, you need to get on you. Big cars, come on. That's just a basic absorb thing, isn't it? Well, that's bloody useless. Well, okay, you know what? It's not that bad. Okay, just... Give me... No, leave the shotgun. Take the Bible. So I haven't decided what my sixth weapon ought to be. But it just means I'm upgrading the others faster. So it doesn't really matter a huge amount. Okay. This is going well. The Bibles are dealing with the cows. Pretty effectively, actually. So there's a lot of damage now being done by the water. The water is really starting to pay for itself. It's now doing its job. The bones are doing really nicely, too. There is just water everywhere. And there is also, okay, there's a chicken nearby. Don't need that. Get the lightning ring. Yeah, lightning is so good. I love lightning. It's one of my favorite things in the game. It's brilliant. So, okay. 
This is this is all holding together. Just about. This is this is a lot more dicey. But I mean, they may be getting stronger, but I'm getting stronger too. And now just get over to you. Yeah, that's right. We're just pushing the boss back at this point. This is this is lovely. Screw you, Mr. Boss. Just keep pushing him. The Bible's a bitch just be out now. There we go. It finally wore off. But not before killing the boss. Now come on. I'm pretty sure I've got level eight at this point. Is that no, the one's only level four. Need to level that up, dear oh flippin' dear. Okay, that is... There is a big pile of cows coming. So let's just take all of them out for some lovely bits and pieces. Uh, everything is... It's all under control. What's nearby to me? There is wings for movement speed. There's also... Okay, there's a hoover to the south. Let's go in that direction. So, okay. Give me a lot of gems uh, that I've missed and... Uh, Lightning ring, yeah, level 6, right there, that's absolutely fine, should be a lot of gems coming in from above, oh yeah, that's good, that's good, right there, take you guys out, water or bible, oh those are all good, the bible's keeping me alive, go for the bible, base damage on the bible, really really nice, so okay, we're, we're just about holding the skeletons back, this is looking dicey actually, so... Knife is pretty powerful, you know. The knife is nice. I'm going to take knife as my sixth weapon. I know it's weird to have a base weapon right now. That just get... Uh-oh. Why was there just an exclamation mark? I don't know. There's an exclamation mark. Something bad is happening. I don't know what it is. But the bones are going to start doing wonderful, wonderful damage. It's all going to be a-okay. Then magic wand. No. Max out the lightning. More base damage and more area, more importantly. That's that's the stuff right there. The Bible is just about keeping me in the game. More projectiles. That is a maxed out Bible. Bible, next time a boss shows up, is ready to be upgraded. I've got the Spell McJibble, so that's fine. Santa Water, same deal. It's all holding together just, but now the bones are doing a huge, huge amount of wonderful, wonderful work. I need to get on these bloody jams. Get the knife. No. End tome. Cool down. That just keeps the Bible out. The Bible is what's keeping me in the game at the moment. So that, that's what we want. And uh, max out lightning ring. Go. Okay, look out for bosses at this point. Anyone? Yeah, who's all highlighted in a uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blue. Possibly are you a boss? You look bigger. You might be a boss. Oh, here we go. Lucky chest and... That's what I wanted to see. Thunder loop. So, okay. Lightning is about to become ludicrous. I am surrounded by turrets. Also, yeah, that's the Santa water. More flipping stuff. Okay. At this point, the lightning is going to start doing wonderful, wonderful work. There's a lot of enemies, but it's all under control. Do I want to make a run for that relic down south? Is that worth doing? No, but there is a hoover. So start moving in that direction anyway. And just, yeah, make sure we get all of the bits and pieces. Knife. Just start firing more knives. Knives just fire whichever way you're facing. That is, yes, a positional weapon. And empty tome, max it out. So yeah, at this point, cooldown is basically uh, pretty much as good as it can be. Maybe I should just try and get more vacuums uh, over here. Oh, there's definitely new enemies showing up. I don't see what's going on anymore. But look at the amount of water. The amount of water is now ridiculous. And the lightning is ridiculous. We put all that together. We are killing a lot of people very fast right now. Okay. Focus. The magic wand, uh, that's a really good insurance policy, given it always targets, yes, the closest enemy to you. So whoever's putting you into the most threat, it goes for them. And uh, Santa Water, level 7. Let's just get another thing maxed out. And knife of 3 or effects last longer. That will affect the water, presumably. So I will take that. There we go. Santa Water, 8. And, uh, okay, magic wand, 6. Never mind, Magic Wand 7, Magic Wand 8. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, the Magic Wand is now, I just ate the turkey and I didn't need to. Okay, you guys are now all frozen. This might be a good moment for me to just make a bit of a run for it. Okay, could take Clover. Do it. Items are so good and I'm feeling like we're only just holding together right now. Items are really, really, really nice. Okay, there is so much water on the field and all of it is dangerous to them. Candelabra. 
That's lightning. That's the water too. Oh, that's the stuff. That's the stuff right there. Keep on keeping on. There are so, so many lizard monsters. But... Yeah, the water, the Bibles, uh, the lightning, and anyone that gets near to me gets a flipping hit by the wand. And anyone facing me, the knives, uh, I'll take it. Flipping, get the knives. The knives are really, really good. I don't have the support item to make the knives better. That's a bit of a shame. The knives can become basically an automatic gun. There are now stone golems. But they seem to be going down for the time being. So it's all, it's all fine. Okay, just go in this direction. It's absolutely fine. Clover. All right, let's get some items on the field, please. Let's get items. Uh, let's get healing. Let's get all sorts of bits and pieces. There was a red item over here. Just keep an eye out for anything that looks big. That'll be a boss. We now want bosses. The sooner we see bosses, uh, the better. Candelabra. More water. I want water and lightning covering the entire damn field. It's going to be lovely. Where are you, buddy? Is it this next one? Please be this next one. There it is. There's the bastard. Go! A lot of gems are going to be coming in from above right now. And I mean a ridiculous, dumb amount of gems. Oh, here they come. This is going to be like five level ups or something. So, okay. More effects lasting longer. And then knife up to four or clover up to three. No, max out candelabra. That's good. Then... Knife to four, tossing more projectiles. Uh, knife to five. Uh, yeah, the knife gets bypassed. It's really good at uh, crowd clearing. But take the clover instead. Uh, knife up to five. Oh, yeah. Now the knives are doing well. Bones are just uh, everywhere. Basically, yes. If I get under any sort of uh, major immediate threat, then what I want to do is face that direction. Face my enemies uh, head on. Now, where's the boss? There should be one showing up at some point, right? We really need uh, another boss. Because, oh, you look like a boss. Right, big old snake Poseidon over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. Just back off. Then face him. The knives doing beautiful, beautiful work right now. Down he goes. Okay. Clover up to four. And uh, come on. Let's get me a beautiful upgrade. And there it is. Magic wand up to upgraded. Okay. This is working. I don't know how it's working, but it's all just about holding together. Let's make a run to the south, okay? There is a relic down there. We might be able to grab this relic while we're passing by. I don't even know what it is, but screw it. We're going relic hunting because I'm feeling hubristic today, damn it. Oh, I think we've got a boss. I see a big lad right there. And he just died instantly to the amount of knives. And please, come on. Let's get Santa water upgraded. And there it is. So, the water now follows me and grows as it moves. Meaning, basically, I can just stand perfectly still. And the enemy has no choice but to cross an increasingly dangerous, deadly amount of beautiful beautiful water if they want to, you know, get to me. Which they do, because that's all they know how to do. Aside from the turrets, who can shoot. But that's an unpleasant surprise. So, okay, at this point, oh. Oh, yeah. We have got ourselves some form of relic. So, okay. It's just a nice way of knowing about my enemies. Lovely. And I'm pretty sure I also see... Okay, there's some form of mystery up to the top right of me. I'd say we should go and investigate, because I suspect I know what that is. Sometimes in the map, there's like a, uh, yes, very, very special little coffin with some elite guardians. And if you go in and take out the guardians and open the coffin, you get a new character. So as we are doing very well right now, the situation feels uh, under control to me. I would say, yes, now would be a good time to go and take care of that. Okay, come on, guys. I know. There we go. I knew it was going to be a secret coffin. So, yes, they're guarded by a big old pile of enemies. You have to kill the enemies. But I'm pretty sure they're all going down pretty bloody fast. And with that, the coffin opens. And who's inside? The vampire is in another coffin. Don't worry. They always say that. You get a new character anyway. There's fireworks. This is generally a good sign. And... I've got somebody new. Lovely. Oh, here we go. It's like the first level, but much tougher. It's now nothing but Mega Minotaur bosses. So, okay. These guys are... They are getting closer. 
I will admit they are getting closer, but I think it's the bones actually. The bones now can't escape, so we're just bouncing forever. They're just keeping them back. And I'm just getting red gems off them because my attraction orb is getting those. Okay, you know what? Let's just set that to, um, let's just set that to always give me help. Just in case they manage to get inside. So I'm giving up some money, but I am level 108 and rising fast. This is, it's now nothing but bosses. Every enemy is a boss, but they can't get to me. The bones and the lightning and the Bibles, some of them are making it through for just a split second. But if they do, the magic wand locks onto them. We're just leveling up like crazy, this is. This is ridiculous. Now there's robots. There's robots trying to get in, but they can't get to me. But actually, you know what? The robots are pushing other creatures towards me, I think. So, okay. Now it's nothing but giant. Wait, are they robots or are they giant robot apes? I don't know, but oh dear. They're making it through. The robots. Uh oh. Oh no. No. We might not be able to. Oh dear. This is a problem, but I'm leveling up and gaining health. I think I might be able to level up fast enough that I can deal with any small amount of damage, but they are making it past the Bibles. 20 seconds to go. I'm leveling up 120. Just, I just need to stay away from them. Fast enough to level up so that I can get... Oh, no. Oh, no. 10 seconds to go. Just level up again. Hide. Okay, I'm back up to full health. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now I'm going to die to death. But I'm going to do some damage to him first, damn it. So, that there is Vampire Survivors, and it is brilliant. Okay, it is just a ridiculous, dumb game that is 100% not the sort of thing I think I would normally be into. But it's just, it's just a good time. I've already put maybe 10, 20 hours into this already, and uh, I'm going to be going back. Alright, this is my current just game that I enjoy playing in my time off. And it takes something special to be that. So, uh, take that as a recommendation, and do not be surprised if we see this coming back as a live stream at some point, because uh, it's a damn good time. So, uh, as I say, may well see it again. Hopefully, you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Vampire Survivors. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Were we doing virtual reality, or was that just like a metaphor for lesbian sex? And then he smacked me lightly across the face with the money! What? This is... Well, where is this going? What's happening? We're gonna buy our whole new bin, and we're gonna write Brendan on it, and we're gonna put him in it and toss it off the pier.